Hey guys, so it is that time of year again. If you're bothered to look back through my videos, you'll see that this time last year I went to Conquest. I'm going to another event this year called Drakenfest, which goes on for a week and then straight after is Conquest, which was the event I went to last year. So it's going to be two weeks in Germany just camping out and having medieval battles and such. Also, this year I'm not on my own. I brought Smelly Kelly and stupid lame ass Nick. He's all the way over there. And uh, because they like to follow me around places because they really look up to me. But yeah, we're just we're in Dublin Airport at the moment. We still don't know what gate our flight is leaving from. Basically, we have to get a flight to Amsterdam. Then we get a flight from Amsterdam to Hanover. And from Hanover, we get a train from the airport to some other town. And then from that town to Warburg. And then from Warburg, we get a taxi to where Drakenfest is. And it's going to take us all day. And the estimated time for arrival in Warburg was like 10 o'clock tonight, so we're going to be traveling for ages. Yeah. Could you not feel condescending if you have that done though? Do you know all the gossips and those things? Yeah, that guy knows all, he knows all the scoops. <laughs> See, there's the airplane. We're all screwing around in there. So, we have gone through the gate and we're about to board our aeroplane. And, uh, so we're well on our way now to Amsterdam and then we go legging around Amsterdam, find our gate and then get another plane. And then leg it to the plane and get to the train. So you haven't flown in a really long time, Nicholas. No, I haven't. Are you excited? <laughs> yes, I am. Very excited. Are you, are you like scared about next flying or anything? Pants, just in case. Huh? Not wearing <laughs> these windows can be the watch though. Get some window down Soup. here, stop. Mm. Little tip for stopping your ears popping on a plane. Yeah. Boiled yeah. sweets. Oh wow, it's way more interesting than anything Kelly ever says. So, it's kind of apparent that Nick does not do that well on planes. I do excellent. I fly like a pro. I scream louder than anyone. <laughs> um, I'm the only one that screams. <laughs> it's the second we got off the plane, we were like, oh, See? you know, fumes from the engine are real warm. It's air conditioned in here. Shut your mouth. But we step off the plane and it's roasting. It's actually like the air is like hard to breathe. It's so warm. So, uh, holy crap, it is warm. We had to basically, not leg it, but we power walked uh, all the way to our gate. And uh, if there's a road between walking, power walking, and running, we were doing it in between of running and power yeah, we, we wan. <laughs> we <laughs> ran. We're on a, a little bus headed towards our plane. And uh, it is so hot. Wow, we, we thought it was like. So, like central heating that they forgot to turn off, but it's just like the heat is in the air. And I haven't had a chance to take my jacket off. Once again, I told you so. Second time. Yeah, I remember you said that. Look how small the next plane is. It's like a little private jet or something. Well, you know, compared to the last plane we were on. We're almost there. Let's make it. We're almost there. So this plane is really comfortable. Yeah. 
It's really air conditioned. And I'm not wearing my jacket. And it's just <laughs> so much better than out there. We'll see how Nick reacts this time. I don't think he'll be as bad since he's not near the window. <laughs> so we have made it to Germany officially. We are in Hanover Airport and like I've been in this exact spot this time last year. We've been waiting on our bags for forever. Although they have only just started coming out now. But uh, really ours should have come out first. We sort of deserve it more than everyone else. Just, just cause, you know. So we got on a train after waiting for ages and it's really warm and I'm really tired. And we're not even halfway through the train journey yet. And it's just, at this point it's like I just want to travel to be over and I want to be there. So. We're making progress. The next train we have to get is going to Warburg, which is, I don't know if you can see that properly. And uh, when we get to there, then, I'm really, oh, I'm really tired. I guess I came up like a billion steps. Well, it's more like 12, but I'm still really tired. Yeah, when we get to Warburg, then we can get a taxi to Drakenfest, and that'll be, we're here. That's it, no more traveling for a while. Smells good, really. Smell. Smell of vision. <laughs> um, yeah, as long as we get there, I'll be happy. Oh, that's deadly. Try some. Yeah, try some in a bit. Um, we finally arrived at Warburg. West. Um, but we got off and looked around, and there is nothing here. It's like. It's ghost land. So we were kind of looking back and forth trying to find somewhere there was a taxi rank or something and we asked this one girl if she knew where there was a taxi rank and she just told us there was a number down there phone number wouldn't work on our phones but we noticed she had gotten to a car with her mum and her mum hadn't left yet so Kelly went over and was just said could you call us a taxi because it's not working for us and um, the girl she ended up calling us a taxi and her mum got out of the car and she had a big chat with us and when she found out we we're from Ireland she started flipping her lid she started getting real excited and we got a little picture and stuff with her and they call us the taxi and the taxi driver's gonna speak English so it's grand getting there it was really just one of those nice little experiences that she was just so happy and she wouldn't take money but we managed to get her to take money for helping us out they they were really just happy people and they just wanted to help so we have arrived we're at Drakenfest finally I don't know if you guys can see it because all that there is to light up anything is <laughs> All there is to light up anything is the moonlight and Nick's phone. It's only being illuminated by moonlight and it's just, it's awesome out. Looks really cool. So now we need to find Rick and the rest of the Grand Expedition and then we can find out where we're sleeping and then we can enjoy the rest of the week. There's, I don't know if you guys can see that but there's like cool stuff happening over there. Some kind of rave. We found where we're supposed to be camping with the Grand Expedition and uh, they've kind of set up a lot of stuff already. Like this is the, the main mead hall. Um, they have like all these LED lamps all around, so they're not fire hazards, but they still look really cool. It's kind of tough to film right now because it's so dark. There's quite a few people here already, like oh, there's uh, a bunch of expeditionaries and people from the copper camp and stuff. Um, just out having a couple of drinks and having a chat. Me, Nick and Kelly are going to go for a bit of a wander soon. Yeah, we have a couple of people drinking outside. Just having a chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really can't see anything. So uh, we wandered up to this tent, it turns out to be a tavern. So. <laughs> yeah? Alright, let's do this. That's what? Dark beer? Dark beer. <laughs> Dark beer, light beer. Can I get a light beer? Yeah. Uh, light beer as well, with these. With these, yeah. Yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, you guys are. Oh man, we're going to over tomorrow. This is a terrible idea. It's great. 
How much are they? Yeah, 20 quid. They were nine something, so just 20, and, 20 quid. And the beer. Oh, and the beer as well. This too, so. Yeah. It's a small one. What's it taste like? Is it me? Yeah, it's nice. Are we taking a bottle of each cycle? Yeah. We've been traveling all day. It's warm as well.